Miss Devon, come on. Come on. Miss, not Calvin, but Miss, my fellow classmates. And let me say before we begin, young people, this will be a day that will never be quite like another day of your life. And probably you'll never be quite together like you are tonight. And uh, as time passes on, and we all seem to go sometimes different directions. Uh, yeah, this is a it's an honor that I have as you embark this day. And because of the of, of this class, the this these students meeting the curriculum requirements and earning the required number of credits prescribed, uh, prescribed by the board and faculty at Mount Calvary Christian Academy. I present the following students with the diplomas as a uh, as written notice that they have met the criteria prescribed by the school. And with the help of Pastor Summerson, I'd like all the graduates to stand and receive your diplomas. And as they come, we're going to be playing a tape of their testimony. And I would like you to listen carefully uh, to the testimony and not to clap uh, initially. Uh, you can clap after all of them have received their diplomas. Uh, but, uh, we, we look forward to that. Okay, can we come now? Chris? Christopher Stephen Claiborne. The Lord has blessed me in three ways spiritually. Seven and a half years ago, I asked the Lord for Bible understanding, and to this day, He has been supplying knowledge. Three years ago, the Lord answered a host of prayers for me. Answered prayers are a very beautiful thing. Last but definitely not least, there was a time, a long time ago, I asked Christ to come and dwell me. I do not know the date, but I thank Christ for saving me. Stephanie Jo Sack. In being a part of a Christian school, I have been able to have many opportunities to hear about Jesus Christ. I am so thankful that I have heard the salvation message and that I have heard God's love for me. I was saved when I was in the fifth grade. When I was a small child, I felt like I was saved, but I was not sure. As a child, I asked the Lord to come into my life, and I believed that I was saved. Later on, however, I would doubt my salvation. I talked with my teacher and told her that I was not sure about my salvation. She helped me pray and told me that whenever the devil put doubts in my mind about my salvation, to look upon that day and remember that the Lord had saved me. From that day, I tried to live right, but it has not always been easy. However, I have found that nothing is more important than my relationship to the Lord, and I do not regret my decision to serve me. The Lord always helps me in everything that I do, and He has always been there for me. Every day I realize how much I need the Lord, and I have decided to turn my life to Him. David Jones Jackson. Thank you.
was co-captain of his volleyball team. They say he had a killer sermon. He was voted best Christian, having the best Christian testimony by his peers four years in a row. He competed in SACS competition, placing first place in spelling, second place in the broad jump, and third place in chess. His hobbies include video games, collecting comic books, reading, and Bible study, though not necessarily in that order. Chris says, I have been working at Pizza Hut in Kingston for almost two years, and my goal is to eventually progress into a managerial position. Chris, it's my pleasure to present you with this book, God's Holy Word. going to do just stand there <laughs> glad I made it I know they thought I wouldn't but pull through like someone said you knew that you knew they thought that didn't you <laughs> how about you pop you know that too Sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay Westside Church by Brother Jeff Dalton. On what date? On May the 31st, 1992. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, yes, one sir. and all. <laughs> That's my Bible. It'll look like the other one in a few <laughs> years. <laughs> Doing fine. We'll hide behind your leather. Right, I think I stayed that way. Bye, bye. Bye. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. What the ones with the flat He was smacking them that day we were I'm not. I guess by the time get them. Get brother John. <laughs> All that rain, boy, it was raining. They get the ball and it. <laughs> <laughs> how can you tell her from her <laughs> sister? <laughs> remember That's Jean Mark. I know, but how can you tell her from her sister? Remember the one you were talking about? The seal and Carol? No. The one, the tall one. Remember? Oh, those, that's Eleanor Baker and her sister. Yeah, you don't know her name? Hazel Salt. How do you, can you tell the difference? I guess because I just sure, can. Oh, Eleanor Baker got a um, birthmark on her cheek, right? I don't know. I don't know. Have you ever met Hazel Salt? Huh? Have you ever met Hazel Salt? Yes. You want to say something? A lot of like Grandma got them mixed up once. You don't want to be on film? <laughs> you sure? They look just alike. Oh, you have to. 